did you know that if husband and wife are both carriers of thalassemia that there was a 25% chance of their child having thalassemia major Hi I'm Dr Amrita Ramaswamy and I am a senior consultant in the department of hematology oncology and stem cell transplantation at Max Super Speciality Hospital Shalimar Park Thalassemia is a genetic disease in which the hemoglobin structure is abnormal because of which the affected child develops anemia and the uh, hemoglobin repeatedly drops and these children need blood transfusions for life because of blood destruction that happens these children tend to be anemic they have a low hemoglobin and they need repeated blood transfusions they tend to have growth failure they have endocrine dysfunction and the most important side effect would be the side effect of repeated blood transfusions blood transfusions brings on the problems of iron overload iron overload affects various organs in the body like the pancreas the liver the heart and these children after repeated blood transfusions over many years they end up with end organ damage affecting these organs so it is a chronic disease and these children they miss school they have a poor quality of life when they grow up to be adults they have the endocrine complications resulting from iron overload and life is pretty much tough for many of these patients affected by thalassemia coming to the treatments that are available for thalassemia the curative treatment that is available is a stem cell transplantation in which the defective marrow of the patient is replaced by normal marrow usually from a a brother or a sister or a sibling nowadays we are also doing alternative donor transplants for thalassemia but a transplant is sometimes out of the reach of many children or many individuals who are affected by thalassemia so there are various non transplant therapies also which are equally important in thalassemia and coming to the non transplant therapies the first one is regular blood transfusions to maintain a normal hemoglobin so that growth of these children and growth of these individuals affected by thalassemia is normal when such a mother is pregnant we can do special tests to find out if the child that she is carrying is suffering from thalassemia major and if through these special tests we find out that that particular child is suffering from thalassemia major we can do a genetic counseling of the parents and advise them to go for a medical termination of pregnancy it is our duty as doctors and as a society to eradicate thalassemia and this is the only way that thalassemia can be eradicated and a single child does not suffer from the dreaded complications of thalassemia i hope you found this video informative if you have any further questions you can post them in the comment section below and thank you so much for patient watching subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates